an artist who escaped from war brings his talent and passion to New York. He tells his frightening story. Turning jeans and paint into works of art, a woman who brings her talent and profits to help children in need. It sent shock waves throughout the sports world when soccer team from Leicester City won England's championship. We will meet the star player with his own Cinderella story. From our studios in Battery Park, this is NYFA News. Hello and welcome to NYFA News. I am Maryam Kari. And I am Urvashi Barwa. Ever wondered where to get a fun cartoon of yourself or see a story through a piece of art? We have report from Times Square. People have different ways of expressing themselves and art is certainly one way to go. Osama Khadlan is an Iraqi artist who's been living in the United States for over 26 years. My name is Osama Katlan. I am from Iraq, originally Iraqi. I am living in New York City about 27 years. I am artist. I do art. He tells his stories is, through painting, you know, but what uh, makes it powerful is his background and all the feelings it expresses. Uh, ISIS coming and the city of North Iraq and destroyed many things very important for, for me, like as Iraqi and for the world. I use it in here to show a sample what they did all uh, ISIS in, uh, in Iraq. And I put in down like my installation artwork, like I put like draw and hammer and stone, how they did when I saw in, in, uh, in the video. Usama not only paints in his studio located in Times Square, but he also does street art to fulfill his artistic needs. For less than $10, and within just a few minutes, you can actually get a charcoal caricature. We can see clearly the effect of terrorism cruelty on Osama's choices for the subjects of his paintings. I feel like uh, what I said is I feel shocked when I saw the videos, many videos and how they destroyed using like a drill, using hammer. I feel like you need something to move. We need help for that. Mariam Kari, NYFA News. Putting color on canvas is one way to make art, but not the only way. Color also plays a major role in the fashion industry. A designer in New York City uses acrylic paint on fabric for the creation of unique jeans. The choice of colors is based upon what's trending in fashion. From the artist's studio in downtown Manhattan, Uvishi Barwa has the story. It's called the Rialto Jean Project, an eco-friendly philanthropic denim brand specializing in hand-painted, one-of-a-kind vintage product. I was living in Venice, California on Rialto Avenue. And um, I was inspired by artists that walked around in vintage denim every day just with paint all over their jeans. That's what they naturally look like every day. Founder and creative director Erin Feniger starts with rare American-made vintage clothing and personally hand paints every single piece herself. This creates a unique fashion-forward experience. And started to think that if we could recreate these jeans to be as, as authentic as you saw like every day on the you know streets, then people would buy them. And I started painting jeans at home in my garage. Handcrafted in her art studio at South Street Seaport in New York City, Rialto Jean Project counts top fashion editors, 
A-list actors, musicians, and supermodels amongst its steadily growing customer base. We create a brand that's for everybody, and celebrities like any other fashion brand, they wear the items that they love and that speak to them. The Real to Jean project donates some of its profit to support innovative art therapy programs at hospitals in Los Angeles and New York, something Finnegar knows about personally since an autoimmune disease makes it painful to use her hands. This pain disorder affects my hands to the point where sometimes I can't even write. But when I hold a paintbrush, I don't have any pain. Art therapy helps young patients find a sense of hope self-esteem, autonomy, and competence in their healing process. Finnegar's charity, Denim Doing Good, exemplifies her dedication to this cause. This is Urvashi Barwa for NYFA News. Still ahead on NYFA News, New York's growing love affair with two wheels. Is the City Bikes program finally over its growing pains? And turning tote bags into a sustainable art form, why bags can be beautiful. When we come back, stay tuned. Welcome back. Getting around New York on a bike has gotten a lot easier. This year, City Bike has created over 150 new stations where you can rent a bicycle and they even offer valet service. From 2013 to now, 2016, what can you say that has changed or gotten better about the city bikes? Uh, well, I could just say our position as valets. Uh, there's a service called Valet Service at City Bike that where people are stationed at busy stations around the city and basically ensure people have a, a bike at the station or a dock at, uh, to, bike, to dock their bikes at. So uh, that, helps, that helps customers um, a lot. I find that a lot of customers are thankful for the service. I guess we're all thankful as being New Yorkers because we all walk around here and we try to find an easier way to get around. And you are here helping us get around. So you would say that you're helping with the balance of presenting bikes all over the city. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're trying to do. Um, in addition to the trucks driving around and uh, the rebalancers uh, helping the truck drivers take the bikes through the through the city. Uh, there's also on the ground people, uh, valets that uh, work with work with certain stations and um, and kind of help in a more uh, on the ground way. To host a free helmet fitting, in February 2016, City Bike has recorded 560,000 trips. In 2015, City Bike has made life easier living in the fast lane. This is Piffany Jarvis reporting live for NYFA News. A good way to help the environment with style is reusing fabric bags. One woman has turned this into a successful business, as Lahisa Cho reports. Bagel is a store located in Olita neighborhood in New York City and it's open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The owner is Jennifer Jans, a mother of three, who came up with the idea of creating bags after seeing that during Christmas Eve the streets were full of wrapping paper. She decided to create gift bags made of different fabrics for her and her friends. So I started making these bags for myself and my friends. Um, and then my friends were saying, oh, you know, I put my hair dryer in your bag, it's really great. Or I put my shoes or I put this or that in those bags that I did. <laughs> so that way I started the organizing collection. But originally the idea is an environmental idea of reuse, where you reuse the, the fabric bags. Suddenly, Jennifer already had her organizing collection. She was working from home. People started to mail her asking for her bags. The business grew quickly, so she found a perfect store for her business. Many magazines started to do reviews about the bags and people all around the world know about Bag All. The store has all kinds of bags for different items like gifts, shoes, clothes, glasses, makeup, wine and much more. They all come in different colors and sizes. Women are 95% of the customers. 
Children understand and love the idea that we need to change our ways to reuse bags. Each year around Christmas, I notice there's so much garbage in our house after opening all the gifts and everything else. And I really thought that this was very um, concerning, actually. And you know, in New York, have you put the garbage out on the curb? So I could see like every other house had like the same, the same situation going on. Uh, so I was looking for other ways of wrapping gifts rather than using wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. So I found this like small environmental movement where they were talking about using reusable gift bags in fabrics instead of paper. Because a lot of people pack in plastic bags and shoes and things, so this is another option for that. This is Liza Cho reporting for NYFA News. In sports, a victory that beat all the odds. Mariam Kari reports on how the ultimate underdog came out on top. Leicester City has just been crowned champion of the Barclays Premier League. The team was a surprise winner after a struggle to even remain in the championship. And if you talk about Leicester City, you can't help bringing up this year's up-and-coming star, Riyad Mahrez, whose accomplishments are resonating around the world. He played a key role in the team's title win with 17 goals and 11 assists during the season. Mahrez. Mahrez signed his contract with Leicester City for only 500,000 pounds and initially began with the Foxes as a substitute. That is a wonder strike. He is now worth over 100 million pounds making him the highest paid international player from the Arab world in history. Earlier this season, Riyad scored a hat-trick against Swansea. A hat-trick is a total of three goals scored by a player in one game. Might well do it. A hat-trick for Riyad Mahrez. Having achieved these remarkable milestones, he is considered one of the best players ever in the history of Leicester City. And the winner of the 2016 PFA Men's Players Player of the Year Award goes to Leicester City's Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez joins the prestigious list of players such as Ronaldo and Rooney by winning the Premier League's best player. That's it for this edition of NYFA News. Thanks for joining us. I am Maryam Kari. And I am Urvashi Barwa. See you next time.